What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing a, another Marvel Legends reveal video. Slightly different format over here. I got my Spider-Man hat. Got my Spider-Man sweater. Got my Spider-Man chair. I'm a mark for Spider-Man, and I'm excited to see new Marvel Legends being officially revealed over here. These have been out everywhere. I've been meaning to talk about them, but most of the photos that I've had have been really grainy. And these are the first clear shots that I have seen of the Across the Spider-Verse figures, especially this Cyborg Spider-Woman, which I think looks incredible. Uh, here's a look at the back of the packaging over here. It says it stands almost 8 inches tall, 7, seven inches, 7.9 uh, inches right so um and it is going to retail for a whopping 58.99 so you're looking at about 60 bucks for this figure and man that's a heavy price tag these marvel legends are not cheap the rest of the figures of the wave come with no build a figure and they are 25 bucks a piece depends on how much of a mark you are for spider-man i think for me i'm gonna get it i like this design i think this looks really badass Honestly, it's not just the fact that it's a Spider-Man character or a you know, Spider-Woman character. I think this really looks cool. I know to some it could look like a vomit mess of spikes, like a porcupine just took a big old spiky dump all over it. I get that. But for me, I think it looks really rad. Uh, I think it looks dope. Some more paint detail for the cybernetic arm would be dope to see. You know what I mean? Of course, more details the better for me anyway but i like this i like the asymmetry throughout on the design i think it looks really cool now after i see the movie i might feel different about it i, I may not like the character who knows what happens in the movie i don't really know but as of right now i think this design looks really badass i really like it a lot uh speaking of badass i will be giving away a giant man figure yeah the toy biz marvel legends giant man giveaway is tomorrow night over on whatnot i just wanted to mention that because i'm selling a whole bunch of marvel legends these auctions start at one dollar and more than anything i sell these figures for really cheap like for really cheap so it's pretty rare uh for the figures to go for any kind of markup price it's really a buyer's market so come through might have a chance of winning a Marvel Legends Giant Man from Toy Biz. The whole wave. Mint on card. Um, all the figures you need to build the Giant Man figure will be in there. Uh, you don't need to pay to sign up or anything. Just, you know, you sign up, follow me, and then be there during the drawing. All right, enough of that. Uh, moving on to the regular uh, Jessica Drew, which is, you know, okay. I, I don't mind the ethnic change thing. I, I know some people get really upset about that. That's not really bothering me so much. And I think the costume design is similar enough, I guess, to the comic Jessica Drew. And I know she's riding a motorcycle. Uh, but I got to say, the jacket is throwing me off. And I don't know if she's supposed to be Preggers or if that's Bonsa. I don't know. You tell me. Bonsa or Preggers? Bonsa in Spanish means like a gut uh bonsa or preggers i don't know and i don't know if it's supposed to be on purpose or not so uh we'll see the movie we'll see how much i like the character and everything um so I, the design looks okay i'm not really thrilled about it to be honest with you it doesn't look the coolest to me i feel like there's they could have done more as far as making the design look a little more spider woman like you know what i mean like you have just a little bit of cobweb pattern just painted on the sleeves over there it's like okay and she's gonna come with these two hands and then fisted hands which is cool but no stinger effects i don't know exactly what this does she's supposed to ride a motorcycle right so wouldn't you want to have motorcycle grabbing hands weapon grabbing hands would have been more appropriate no no am i tripping uh, did she not ride a motorcycle did i not see that i can't remember off the top of my head so let me know if i'm wrong but yeah this is um that's all right i like the thighs you know the thighs look great but yeah uh but yeah is she preggers or is that just bonsa i'm a gentleman so i'm not gonna ask 
the only real way to know is by taking off those boots because when women get pregnant their feet get really weirdly puffy you guys know what i'm talking about you ladies know what i'm talking about anyway moving on miles morales <coughs> excuse me looks pretty solid i don't know if i like the blue though uh the blue is throwing me off by the way you can get your sharpest prime mugs mm. okay look when i think of miles morales i think of a black and red spider-man suit just being honest with you whenever i play the video game and there's other suits to choose all the other suit designs that have blue in them i don't like them i i like identifying the character with the black and red i think it looks cool black and red whenever there's blue peppered in there it throws me off and i'm like oh man uh, to me it looks like it's clashing a little bit i don't mind the extra pattern and everything and i don't mind that the figure's so skinny but uh yeah the blue on there i don't really like so much the head looks like it's almost the same head that they maybe just changed the hair i could be totally wrong about that uh the he comes with he comes with whipping hands and he comes with punching hands interchangeable heads but no crawlers no crawlers at all oh, shame hasbro for shame god include all three i i still get confused with that to this day because i know i heard dwight say somewhere like proudly like oh yeah we're including twippers crawlers and punchers like like yeah we got you guys and it's like whenever they do it when they don't include all three i feel like well you know we like that why are you not doing it i don't get it but anyway moving on we got the peter b parker over here a little less paunchy i think and he's got his sweats on again uh, we only have the punching hands and the thwipping hands. So, uh, wish we, we had crawling hands. Bear patas. That's a, always a plus for me. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I had hoped that Hasbro would release a Peter B. Parker figure that just had straight up Spider-Man suit. Because we don't really get many Hasbro Spider-Man figures with cobweb patterns sculpted in there also would have liked to have seen that cobweb pattern painted on the figure that that bums me out that they didn't do that but i wish they made it a, a more complete uh peter b parker for marvel legends that would have been nice but i guess mafex or sentinel i think i did did pre-order that sentinel one uh a while ago they, they, they did a re-release okay moving on we have spider gwen uh this one i like that like i really like how this figure looks uh i like the added pinless tech um you know she's got the double jointed elbows the double jointed knees by the way does that count as an increase in value for your product i've had this debate with people many times to me it does it makes the figures look better if you're adding a feature that makes the figures look better that increases the value of said figure if you don't if, if you add photoreal tech paint to me that adds value to figures that have more paint more details more cool stuff adds value to it to me uh so is it is it 25 dollars valuable i don't know i'd have to see it in person and the fact is is that they are releasing all these figures on blister cards which I think is them catering to the demand for less windowless packaging. I think that's what's happening here. I don't work for Hasbro. I've never been paid by Hasbro. Uh, so I don't know. But uh, I, I think that's what they're going for right over here. Like When you look at the Spider-Man 2099, I think it's cool that people are able to pick and choose what figure they want to get so but they have said before that it does cost more to have that kind of packaging does that increase the value to you oh man this the logistics behind making these figures has got to be so wild because there's so many demands and the, not, not, not that the, not that the, the demands are ridiculous i'm not saying it like that it's just that we do ask a lot and I think for the price point, we should get what we're asking for. Uh, all I'm saying is that it's got to it's got to be hard to fulfill all of those requests. But you know what I mean. 
there's uh, other hard jobs out there that are that pay a lot. You know what I mean? So it makes sense to me. Uh, but Spider Man twenty ninety nine looks dope as hell. I, I I think this looks incredible. I'm not usually a big fan of like the really bright blue for Spidey twenty ninety nine. That's why I passed on the Mezco one twelve collective version. But for this particular movie, this pr particular design, it works for me. I like the added red on the cape right there. So. I think that looks cool. I'm stoked for that one. So far, Spidey uh, uh, Cyborg Spider-Woman, Spider-Man 2099, and Spider-Gwen are the ones I'm liking the most. And then we got Spider-Punk. And um, I don't know. There, you're going to see. <laughs> it, it does look. It, there's parts of it that look punk. I mean, we all know nothing says punk more than red boots with blue shoelaces. Uh, you know, I'm teasing. It look it looks punk enough to me. You know, the guitar looks a little, you know, more ska than anything. Um, hey, did you guys see that Tim Armstrong and Jesse Michaels are back together? Like they're doing another. They have another band. Uh, I heard one of the songs earlier today. It sounded really good. Like hearing Jesse and Tim's voices on one track. Ah, oh, so sick. I liked it. I liked it. I think the song is called Raid. Yeah, that was a song that I heard. Raid. Really good song. I like it. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot the name of the project. It's not Operation Ivy, but they, they gave it a different name. But yeah, so I liked the song. Um, but the figure, some of you who don't care about punk rock music, I mean, look, this is, uh, it looks cool to me. I like it. It's got like, you know, a dash of, you know, like metal and new metal kind of stuff in there, especially with the teary-eyed makeup stuff right there. You know what I mean? But I think it looks cool. I like it. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. The added stuff to the guitar, overall, I got to say, looks really good. But um, lack of thwipping hands, uneven thwipping hands. And we have uh, just guitar holding hands and just one thwipper. It would be nice to have at least one other hand mm. sorry <coughs> as i sip out of my shardimus prime mug which you can get in the teespring store down below this thing is dope by the way um i'm not just trying to huck it but like for real uh it's the kind of mug that doesn't get super hot when you put it in the microwave and i dropped it once and it's still not chipped or anything so good quality mug Anyway, move on before I make you throw up with my with my uh, blatant self advertising over here. Uh, we have the spot now. Uh, the spot over here, oh, dude. Same old, same old. Uh, the design. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, for real? Uh, but whatever. I have to see the movie. It may look fine in the movie. It may not bother me. Um, I, I do like this feature with the Miles Morales accessories or with the, with the portals, like that does look cool. Um, just kind of a trip though, that it's like a black character, a black suited character going through the black dots kind of makes that effect a little less interesting, I guess. You know what I mean? It doesn't make it stand out nearly as much as if it was maybe a different color scheme, the different character, but uh, the figure looks solid. It's got the pinless tech and everything. This thing has my body type, by the way. If there's a Shardimus Prime custom out there, skinny legs and arms and big old fat brick body right there. <laughs> the Gordo. <laughs> That's me, man. That's what I, I, could, I, could, I could totally be a spot figure. Uh, but anyway, I like that he comes with these portal effects. 25 bucks, you know. It all depends for me. Uh, my, my attitude changes depending on how much I like the movie. So we will see. You know what I mean? But as of right now, I'm happy to have a spot figure in general. I already have, you know, some Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse figures. And I think these could fit in okay with the Prowler figure. That's like the only villain that we have. Uh, but, you know, these figures look all right to me. I, I can't tell you I'm personally, like, extremely thrilled about them. Uh, but they look pretty solid, you know, they, they look solid enough. They don't look great. They look all right. They look all right. Personally, I would, for me, I would trade in, uh, windowless packaging for build a figure. That's just me. Uh, cause people, if, if that's what it is, 
because we don't really know. But if I was talking to somebody from Hasbro, I I wouldn't be shocked if they gave me that choice. Like, well, would you rather have a build a figure piece or do you want to have windowless packaging? If that even makes sense. Um, I would go for the build a figure piece because uh, I mostly throw the packaging away. So anyway, uh, that's all I got to say about these figures over here. They look all right. They look all right to me. They don't look terrible. Some of them I like more than others. The Spider-Man figures I'm a bit disappointed in, but you know, that Cyborg Spider-Woman looks amazing to me. I can't wait for that one. That, that looks so sick to me. I like that a lot. <laughs> I know some people are going to hate it, but we each have our own opinions and uh, it'd be nice if, you know, we could respect each other's opinions a little bit more these days as temperatures are very hot amongst the collecting community. Oh, oh man, is it bad. But hopefully uh, we, we could be better about respecting each other's opinions and not see assumptions as facts. There's a lot of that going on. People like to assume and create a narrative that that assumption is a fact. Stop doing that. You know what I mean? Stop doing that. I'm all for calling these companies out when they do bad things or if the product doesn't seem like it's the best that it could be. But, you know, making, doing, you know, turning on each other, I still think it's a weak move. You know, if you're really that great, you don't need to put other people down to make yourself look good. That's all I'm saying. All right. Anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, be nice to each other. And I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll have another review coming to the channel soon. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow night on Whatnot, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Giant Man giveaway! All right, stay tuned. Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.